I saw what you did. You killed them. Gonna light a blaze with barrel stays, bourbon and crew. We got barrels to move, containers and cranes. What's the uh, what's the punishment for having an erotic thought again? I'm, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking uh, I'm asking for someone who isn't me. Father Chen. No, see, she has the top half of a fish and the bottom half of a woman, right? We don't even know who this guy is. He's wearing a trench coat. Obviously, we can trust him. I, I barely even remember what he said. He said that you killed somebody, Chet, and how could you not remember that? Okay, I say you killed somebody. Do you believe that? Obviously not. He's sure not wearing a trench coat. Anyone can say anything. I could say that John F. Kennedy is dead because someone assassinated him, but you wouldn't just walk around believing that, would you? Oh my god, John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy, you keep saying that name like we know who that is. Who is that? Hi. Come on, it's me. Should we let him in? No. Yes. The people deserve to know. Mm, but past stories can be so... Oh, I can hear every word you're saying. Brother Kane. <laughs> Who's that guy? That's a private investigator. Bro, uh, maybe, uh, trench coat. Trench coat? Uh, he actually is a private investigator. He came into the deli last week and was asking questions about the transcendence of the elders. Yeah, and next thing we know, he's at the baptism, screaming about how you killed somebody. All right, all right. Speaking of which, where was I? I was working. At the deli. Am I the only one in this place that remembers we've read a taxable business? Yeesh, sounds like someone needs anger management. 
management. Oh, uh, look! Everyone is in the chapel downstairs wondering what's going on. Can somebody please go down and say something? All right. I guess I'm going to have to take this into my own hands. Stay? Unless that's not what's supposed to happen. Listen. I didn't kill anybody. I think the main problem here is that some guy is following us around and asking us questions about our most sacred rituals. How did he even know about the transcendence of the elders? Someone must be feeding him, right? Like a person? Like a mole. Someone trying to destroy the garden from inside. Robin's been awfully quiet. I don't know anything about this. He did arrive at the garden right around when this guy started following us. That, that, that's right when the $500 was stolen from the deli. Ruby didn't steal anything. She's as pure-hearted as any initiate I've ever seen. There was Xanax in her backpack. She, she left it in the deli. I looked in it and there was a bunch of Xanax there. <laughs> Okay, get settled then. She's a uh, gopher, gopher them all. I think what Duffy's trying to say is that she's ferreting things, i.e. Xanax. Oh, what, 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 ferreting? Yeah, that's what a gopher does. No, that's what a ferret does. Okay, no, I said it was a mole. Yeah, like a gopher. No, they're different animals. Okay, okay, but they all ferret, right? <laughs> what the? Where the hell am I? In a state of anguish, on the plane of the material. Who is the mole? What? <laughs> Who contacted you? What? Are you gonna kill me now, too? What? No. Why am I tied up? You guys knocked me out. No, you passed out back there at the river. That's why you're so sweaty and hot. They tied you up so it'd be easier to carry you. So, so you're not gonna kill me? No. I haven't killed anyone. Oh yeah, well what about those bodies I found? What bodies? Who told you? about the transcendence of the elders. It was an anonymous phone call. They didn't give a name. OK, well, um, I think it's pretty clear that it was Ruby. Nope. That's him. That's the voice from the call. Hang on. Are people actually dead? Yes. And I realize this may not be the right time, but I was also promised the second half of my $700. And Pretty hard up financially. Okay, okay. Oh, 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 what? 700? I, no, hey, I only promised you 500. I don't know what you're talking about. Wait. The 500 from the deli? You said you gave me half, and it was $350. Yeah, 350 plus 350 equals 500. Brother Duppy, you're the one? You stole money from the deli to sick a private investigator on us? Okay. All right. Oh, Did I steal money from the register? Yes. Okay, but, but, I only did it because I had no other option. What are you talking about? It's time to come clean, Father Chetty. The elders didn't make it to the Universal Garden, did they? Yes, they did. I saw it. That didn't transcend it all. Because you killed them. Okay, okay, of course they transcended. That's, that's heresy! No, no, it's not. I, I saw, I saw the scratch marks and the blood on the door. He tried to hide it behind this photo of Dr. Father Luger. Wait, is that why there's portraits of him hung up everywhere? Wasn't enough for you to be the son of the prophet. You had to be the prophet yourself. That's not true. That's... Not you killed all the others! You killed Missorius' mom! You killed your own dad! Stop fighting. Father Chet, it's time to tell them.
I come before you today to make a confession. You look to me as an example of faith and as a worker of miracles, but I have no faith and I have seen no miracle. Last month, on the morning of the transcendence, I went upstairs and I saw bodies there. The bodies of the elders. My father killed them. He stabbed them to death and then he shot himself in the head. Their bodies were not miraculously transformed to immaterial dust. There was no transcendence. They screamed and they bled and they died. I tried to hide this from you. I tried to hide this from myself. This is all I've ever known. So I buried them. And I lied to you. I'm sorry. Father Chen, it's can I? It's just shut in now. Okay. There's no more garden. There's nothing left for anyone to believe in. On the bright side, you've only been here for a week. It'll be easier for you to go back. I can't go back. I guess I just need to find somewhere else. Before I go, I need to ask you for something. And I know it's stupid, and I know you can't do it, but I just... Well, I got all the way here, so I need to ask. When I was in middle school, this girl named Annie got hit by a semi-truck. Yeah, it was horrible. Nobody could... I didn't even really know her that well. But they still brought this counselor and stuff for everyone to talk to. We were kids. We got over it. But her parents... They were not okay. The memory of her body... All... Everywhere like that was just, it ruined them. And they tried everything, counseling, medications. Like Xanax. Nothing worked. And then one day they joined a cult. This cult, 
the Delhi people. Everyone thought they were crazy. But months later, we heard a rumor that your dad actually was able to help them. They went to him and he gave them a blessing so that they could forget. It was a miracle. I have a memory I need to forget. Can you help me? No. I was living in a devil town Didn't know it was a devil town Oh Lord, it really brings me down About the devil town And all my friends were vampires didn't know they were vampires Turns out I was a vampire myself in the devil town <laughs>